All ACT householders have a recycling bin, which is emptied every two weeks. This recycling is taken to the Materials Recovery Facility, or MRF, in the suburb of Hume. Here it goes through a sorting process to separate the mixed waste into specific types before being sent off to Sydney or Melbourne for recycling. MRFs are designed to process the types of materials that can go in recycling bins. In the ACT, we can place six types of material in our recycling bins. Paper, cardboard, aluminium and steel containers, including aerosols, rigid plastic bottles and containers, and glass jars and bottles. But just how does it all happen? Here's how it's done at the Tees Murph in the ACT. This is where recycling trucks drop off the recycling after collecting it from ACT household curbside bins. A front end loader pushes the recycling over a pit and onto a conveyor belt. This takes the recycling up into the sorting plant. Around 200 tonnes of recycling is received at the MRF every day. The first stage is to pull out large pieces of cardboard and any materials that may cause a machinery breakdown. This process is done by hand. This is the V-screen as it's shaped like the letter V. It removes paper from the recycling. Overhanging fans blow paper over rollers on either side. Heavy items drop to the bottom of the machine and move on to the next stage of sorting. Paper separated by the V-screen is screened again to prevent contamination of the end product. It goes through a light refraction system. The light penetrates the objects and if it's recognised as paper, jets of compressed air push it out onto the floor. Anything not paper rejoins the rest of the recycling for sorting. Throughout the sorting process, there are stations where staff carry out quality control processes. This staff member is removing missed pieces of cardboard and any contamination that may cause the machines to be blocked or damaged. This is the glass sorting line. Typically, three workers stand at this conveyor belt and manually remove glass jars and bottles. The staff members are sorting the glass into three different colours, green, brown and clear. Glass that is too small to sort by hand is collected as a mixed glass product, called glass fines. Conveyor belts drop the sorted glass in outside storage bays. It's collected from these bays for transport to Sydney and Melbourne for recycling. Steel containers, including aerosols, are removed from the sorting line using magnetic fields. A large magnetic conveyor belt runs over the top of the mixed recyclables. Steel containers are picked up by the magnets and then dropped into a bunker below. Rigid plastics are sorted into three categories. HDPE, that's frosted plastic bottles and containers, PET, that's soft drink bottles, and general mixed plastics, which are all of the other hard plastic containers and bottles. The sorting is done by a light refraction machine. The light shines on the plastics and jets of air blow the different plastics into their correct bunkers. A staff member oversees the final sorting of the plastics to ensure minimal contamination. Aluminium containers and foil are removed from the recycling stream through a system called an eddy current. The eddy current has the ability to make aluminium repel or jump off the conveyor belt into its own bunker all by itself. Other materials do not react to the eddy current and continue on for sorting. With the exception of paper, cardboard and glass that was removed in earlier stages, all of the sorted materials are now held in separate bunkers. When any bunker is full, a trapdoor at the bottom opens, dropping the contents onto a conveyor belt. This moves the recycling into the baling room for baling. This is the baling machine. The recycling enters the baling machine, 
which compresses the material into bales and binds them with wire. The bales are stored in this room until they're collected by trucks to be taken to Sydney for recycling. Approximately 150 bales are made each day from ACT's recycling. Glass doesn't need to be baled. From entering the sorting line to going into the sorting bins, it takes approximately 20 minutes for a whole truckload, equivalent to the contents of 400 recycling bins, to be sorted. So that's the basic process as explained. If you'd like to know more about recycling or you'd like to visit the facility for a tour, please call Canberra Connect on 132281 or email nowaste at act.gov.au.